Hi, everybody. Reese Davis with you, bringing you the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 pregame show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. The discipline, the relentless nature of players on both sides in a matchup of service academy. Air Force and Army hooking up in a battle for the Commander-in-Chief's trophy. Thanks for joining us here on the NCAA College Football pregame show. Now let's send it out to Brad and Kirk for all the action. We'll see you at the half. to the fullest. This rivalry has always been a great one. Before we head down to the field for the coin toss, we'd like to remind you this game is brought to you by Coke Zero. Real Coke taste, zero calories. Enjoy everything. Air Force has lined up for the kickoff, and we're ready to get this one underway. He'll return it from the three. Across the 30. Tackle at the 36-yard line. So here comes the offense taking the field for the first time today. He's at midfield. He's at the 40. At the 30. To the 20. To the 10. Touchdown, Black Knights. And he adds the extra point. Kick this one off. Anderson takes it from the six. Tackle made at the 26. Fuller's the guy that you really have to game plan for if you're a defensive coach, Irby. And we talked to those guys this week, and, and he gives them nightmares, I think. Yeah, I think he does. I think they're concerned about his big playability. I think you're really going to have to see this defense commit numbers to the line of scrimmage, put an eighth, sometimes even a ninth guy up close to the line of scrimmage. And by slowing him down, that can give yourself a chance to be able to slow down this offense. Tackle right around the 40. You talk about a dual threat guy. This guy can hurt you in the air or on the ground. From their own 40-yard line, first down. Pitches it. He takes it right side for a good game. And they make the stop at the 44 yard line. They go with the option and pick up the first down. Yeah, and that was a situation where the quarterback knew he could pick up the first down if he kept it himself. That's a good decision. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 44. He's taken down at the 46. You know, these backwards plays can have a psychological impact. It can damage a team's confidence if it keeps happening. two-yard line. We've got a first and ten. Ball on the 32-yard line. The 
fullback powers ahead for a good nine yards on the option. it to the 14. He kept it himself and picked up a good-looking first down. Great execution and a good decision there by the quarterback. And this play is number eight on the drive. He laterals the ball. And he carries the ball for a nice game. There's a player down. I'm not sure what happens. Wilson it's second down, four. seven to go. Ball on the 10. Well, as they take a look at that injury on the sideline, let's see what this backup can do at quarterback. He's knocked out of bounds right around the 12-yard line. The Falcons always have guys that are near the top statistically, and that's no exception today. We're really looking forward to watching this kid play. Tenth play of the drive. Here comes the pressure. Gets it out to his receiver in a hurry. Touchdown, Air Force. Here comes the kicker to try to tie this game up. He splits the uprights with the extra point. Right, has the ball all teed up, and he's ready to kick this one off. From the center. Looking for the corner. He gets hit out of bounds at the 47-yard line. And offense is back on the field after running the ball very well on their last drive. This offensive line really opened up some big gaps for the running back last time. Run there. That brings him second and five. Laterals back, and he's got space. Gains his way to the 40-yard line. The option's one of the more difficult plays to defend. The defense went after the quarterback, which left the running back with plenty of room. And he's shoved out of bounds at the 38. That makes it second and eight. Wears it out to the right to the halfback. And he's tackled right around the 38-yard line. He lets it fly. Even though they didn't sack him, the pressure was still enough to force a bad pass. If you can get in there and disrupt the pocket, then the quarterback is going to have a tougher time getting the ball to his playmakers. The Falcons lose one of their key players with that injury earlier. Still in the locker room. We don't know the severity, but unlikely that he'll play any more football this afternoon. This one will go into the end zone, and they'll bring it out to the 20. The last time we saw this offense on the field, they drove the length of the field. And you think back to what that defensive coordinator tried to do. He tried to change some things up, but nothing seemed to work. It's going to be interesting to see how he can have an impact on this drive. And he's level at the 20-yard line. The defenders played the snap count perfectly. He found the path into the backfield and didn't let the quarterback get away.
from their own 20 yard line. It's second down. And they'll get him in the backfield. The thing about the option is you're going to have some negative plays, but if you keep running it, it'll create some big play opportunities. We've played one quarter. We get a tie game at 7 7. Set to resume action here in the second quarter, and we've got a tight ball game. Looks for his running back, incomplete. Fuller was the intended receiver on the play. That brings up fourth and 11. Everybody up close, it looks like they're coming after this kick. It's away. Short punt. You always want to go in the locker room with momentum. So as we get closer to halftime, I think we'll see more and more attempts to create big plays. They bring him down in the backfield. Those linebackers do a great job of stopping the run. But they need to be careful to play action pass. You can easily get fooled and give up some big yards through the air. From their own 49-yard line, second down. Fumble, and the defense picks it up. Got the corner. Makes it out to about the 40. And so the defense recovers the ball after the fullback coughed it up. Well, he's really going to hear about it from his coaches. you got to protect the football. And the booth is going to take a few looks at this to see whether or not the ball came out before he was down. So a big momentum shift could be in the making here as we take a look at the possible fumble. After review of the play, the ruling on the field is reversed. Well, after seeing the replay, it was apparent that his knee was down before he lost the ball. Yep. Those guys in the booth aren't perfect, but they got it right this time. Coming to you. Coming to you. Watch 36. 36 to Mike. Set. Green, that's it. Makes a catch, and he's got nowhere to go. Just about three yards there. It's a nice play by the defense to shut down all the lanes, so this halfback wasn't able to make anything happen on that play. Patrick is set back, ready to punt. He'll probably try to pooch this one into the corner. This punt bounces into the end zone, and this will be a touchback. This is the point in the game where you don't want to make any mistakes that give the other guys a reason to feel more confident going into halftime. And down he goes around the 22-yard line. That makes it second and eight. It's second down and eight. Ball on their own 22. Here's the throw. I don't think he got anything on that. He's going to try and scramble. Runs with it, and he's got room. Slides down to the ground. First and ten. Ball on the 34-yard line. Brought down at the 49-yard line. It's great when a running attack comes through for the first down like this. It makes an offense so much more versatile.
Slings it left. And it's incomplete. Overthrew his man, but boy, did he have some heat on it. He just needs to put a little bit more touch on that pass. Second down, 10 to go. Ball on the 49-yard line. Gets to about the 47-yard line. Here's a quick throw. It falls incomplete. That pass didn't look exactly right when it left his hand. Sometimes you don't get a great grip on the ball, and it comes out a little wobbly. Merrill, back deep to return. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Well, it's always fun to be part of a defensive battle, and that's certainly what we have right now. Yeah, give credit to both of these defenses. I mean, they, they're playing with a lot of energy, and I think they're doing a nice job up front at the line of scrimmage. And at this point, they're not giving this either of these offenses a chance to make a play. You always want to go in the locker room with momentum, so as we get closer to halftime, I think we'll see more and more attempts to create big plays. Got his back, but he can't hang on. Picking the intended receiver on the play. Second and ten. Ball on the 20-yard line. Scrambling around. He takes off. Tackle made at about the 35. First down. throws this one away. From their own 35-yard line, it's second down. Tries to scramble, but he's sacked. Coaches don't like it when their quarterback gets hit like that. Don't be surprised to see the old coach get on his lineman to protect the quarterback a little bit better. pressure he's going right incomplete pass you know Brad this is one of those plays where the quarterback just wants to apologize to the wide receiver maybe every other member of this offense but the wide receiver if he's smart will come up to that quarterback tell him to forget about it let's move on to the next play Anderson is back awaiting the punt Anderson fields it at the 35 and he's taken down at the 42 This is the point in the game where you don't want to make any mistakes that give the other guys a reason to feel more confident going into halftime. Throws it out right to the running back. He's tackled at the 47. From the 47-yard line, it's first down. Down of bounds around the 38 yard line. That brings in second and one. Larry, Larry. Eat up. Mike Six. Mike Six. They go to the And he just gets rid of it. It's third down, and this offense is about three feet away from that first down marker. Taken down at the 29. He got the first down and much more. I'll tell you what, this guy is a threat every single time he touches the ball. Now he tries to buy some time. Brought down in the open field. He's scrambling. 
Slides now. He throws it. Oh, he had a shot at the pick. He tried to force it to a man that wasn't open, and boy, was he lucky it wasn't picked off. He's got to be more careful when throwing the football into the end zone. From the 12-yard line, second down. Ready! Black at the five! Black at the five! Straight run here, and he's got nowhere to go. The defense was playing run all the way right there, and it paid off for him. He scrambled, lost the ball, fumble, tackle at the 16-yard line. Air Force will take their final timeout. So they decide to bring the kicker out to try to get three points before the half ends. Air Force could take the lead with this field goal. It's up, and it splits the uprights. Let's go to the studio for this Reese Davis update. The Miners ready to go to work in El Paso. And for UTEP, they're staring squarely at a six-game losing streak. And for Ramsey, he's thrown for three touchdowns. The Aggies are on top, 21-13. Thanks, Reese. 10-7 in this one. This kick return should conclude the first half. Don't be surprised to see some trickery here. He makes it out to maybe the 29-yard line. Folks, that's the end of the first half, and this game's getting interesting. 10-7, Air Force. Glad to have you with us in the studio for the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Reese Davis and David Pollock here completely locked in on that first half. Perhaps the most important statistic in any football game is turnover margin. I once had a wise coach tell me that the football was so important they named the game after it. Whatever that means. I think it means that you're not supposed to let it get away from you and give it to the other team. And so far, both of these offenses have done a great job of that. No doubt. And most games are lost, not won. And it's because of the turnover differential. And you can look at the stats when you say that every single time. But, you know, both teams doing a good job taking care of it. Both offenses executing and still calling a game, still, still scoring points, still putting up good numbers but at the same time taking care of the pigskin. And they better value that thing because, yeah, you give it away and bad things happen. That's going to do it for David and me here in the studio. Time to get you back to the game. Brad and Kirk ready to take you home in the second half. And we welcome you back to the action here. Just about set for the second half. Green takes from the 10. He makes it to the 28-yard line. They'll take over here, ready to start a new series. Air Force has a three-point lead. They'll bring him down at the 31-yard line. That'll make it second and seven. It's second down, seven to go. Ball on the 31-yard line. Let's go! Let's flag 98! Flag 98! Caught with room to work. He's taken down at the 43. Stop right around the 14-yard line. Perfectly run. I 
option keeper. Not what you'd expect when you prepare all week to defend the option. But then again, give this offense some credit. These guys aren't exactly the scout team. So we've got a first down after a great running play. Tackles him hard at the 16. He was never able to get ahead of steam on that carry. Second and 11. Three down, three down. Hey, look 48. Hey, come on, Mike, look 48. after a decent run up the gut. It's third and five. Ball on the nine. Air Force is up a field goal. He's on the run. And he's tackled around the six-yard line. That's a game of three. That'll bring up fourth and one. The Falcons had one of their key guys go down earlier, but it looks like he might be able to return. The kick is up, and he's got it. Reese Davis is standing by with this update. Reese, the football's flying all over the lot in the Big 12. Let's take yet another peek at this game. The Aggies deliver the perfect connection and a touchdown. Petty's game is solid. He has a touchdown catch. The Aggies have the lead, 28-21. And we thank you, Reese Davis. Back to the action here. Right as the ball set, and he looks ready to kick this one deep. Merrill from the three tries to get around the corner. He's pushed out of bounds at the 35 yard line. Air Force is continuing to play extremely tough defense. This has been impressive. It's just been impressive to watch them play with such an attitude, almost a chip on their shoulder with the energy that they're playing with. And I think it's going to require that kind of effort to be able to win this game. There's still plenty of time to keep running their offense as usual here. I don't think they need to feel any anxiety about trailing. And he's leveled at the 36 yard line. He's in trouble. Steps out of bounds. Around the 35-yard line. Patrick awaits the snap. And he makes it out to about the 44-yard line. Army's the team that nobody gave a chance today, but they're right where they want to be. I think just the mindset of this football team, they need to be complimented for that because it's easy to come in, be a bit intimidated, be a bit overwhelmed. They put that to the side, gone out and executed, and I think the longer they've stayed in this game, the more confidence it's instilled. Delivers to the halfback on the screen. Good tackle there in space. That's good for the game. Seven yards. That'll make it second and four. They're about four yards away here on second down. Air Force with a six-point lead. Makes the catch and gets out of bounds. First down, 10 yards to go. 10 yards to the end zone. He lets it go. Taylor was the intended receiver on that play. That 
makes it second and ten. It was a five-play, 55-yard drive, and they add seven points to the scoreboard. Brad, I thought the offense did a really nice job of mixing up the play calling on that drive. I thought the defense was on its heels most of the drive because of the versatility of the offense. He's to the 20. Across the 30. He's tackled at the 35. There's got to be some sense of urgency to this offense right now. They don't have the luxury of wasting drives if they want to get back in the game. They bring him down in the backfield. Well, the defensive line got such a good push up front that there was no one on the offense to account for the linebacker. And he got through almost untouched. From their own 34-yard line, second down. pass he gets hit out of bounds around the 49 yard line a nice looking play that time well the defense was blitzing here and again great recognition by the quarterback to find the hot receiver he's at the 40 brought down around the 34 yard line that makes it first and ten. Three down, three down. Mike, 36. Mike, 36. They'll wrestle him down in the backfield. Loss of two. That'll bring up second and 12. So at the end of three, Air Force leads it 20 to seven. Welcome back to the action here as we resume play here in quarter number four. made around the 36-yard line. Complete. He's got room. Well, they get all those yards, but come up just shy of the first. Good play call, almost perfect execution, except for the fact that they're not going to get the first down. They're crowding the line. Looking for the corner. He makes his way out to about the nine. Game of 16 yards. That makes it first and goal. Some real purpose there. And he tacks on the extra point. An eight play, 65 yard drive, and a touchdown's a result. And the big plays that they have running the football were the keys to that drive. Reed gets set to kick this one away. He's to the 20. 
And he's taken down at the 30. It's been a good one so far today. Let's see what happens here. It's a big opportunity for this offense. They've got the lead. Now they want to just try to manage this clock and be smart with the football and see if they can work as much clock as possible. Air Force up six. And he hits him hard at the 31. That brings up second and nine. Second and nine. Ball on their own 31. Makes it out to about the 39. seven-yard line, and the fullback picks up the first. Huge gain there on the ground. First and ten, ball on the 47. forward to about the 46. That's good for a gain of one yard. That brings up second and Army will take their first time out of the half. Second and nine coming up here. Ball on the 46-yard line. Flips it, middle to the running back. He's tackled at the 33-yard line. Superb effort by the receiver to come down with that ball. Well, this comes down to the timing between the quarterback and the receiver, and the result, again, a nice play for the offense. Just over two minutes in the game. Makes it to the 21. So they go on the ground and pick up another first down. They are stringing together a nice little drive here. If they keep this up, it'll be hard to keep them out of the end zone. From the 21-yard line, it's first down. He makes it to the 18-yard line. Here's the eighth play of the series. The 10. Touchdown, Falcons. The Falcons are so confident every time they hand this kid the football that he's going to do something special. Well, there's a reason he's the go-to man. And, and here, with everything at stake, he's able to deliver for them in a big way. Well, they're going to try for the two-point conversion. They're trying to stop the run here with a goal-line defense. They don't get it. Caught it, and the conversion is good. An eight-play, 71-yard drive, and they add eight points to their total. Boy, this offense right now is just being physical, really controlling the line of scrimmage, and it's opening up some nice big lanes for the running backs. So the score now, 28-14. Right, has the ball all teed up, and he's ready to kick this one off. Alexander from the 10, heading for the corner. Across midfield, inside the 30. He finally goes down at the 26. I think any good football team has to have an ability to answer, and that's exactly what we just saw. One team scores a touchdown, the other team comes right back and puts another touchdown on the board. This is getting exciting. When you're a quarterback and you start this close to the end zone, your eyes just light up when you take the field. Conversely, the defense is thinking, uh-oh, we can't let him get another one so quickly. And they got him. Great effort by this kid to get in there and make the sack. I think they got to start running some more quick slants or screen passes. Just anything to counter the aggressive blitzes from this defense. We have less than a minute to go. And he stops the clock with a spike. 
Third down, and they need to get it to the 15. He wants it all. You know, when you feel pressure like that, the worst thing you want to do is just to throw the ball into coverage. He got away with one right there. He's very fortunate. Next time, he should just throw it away out of bounds. He'll take it himself. So the play of the day, fourth and ball game, and the defense comes up with the stop of the day and what will be the win. So it's time to see this offense go to work again. This defense couldn't stop them from moving the ball and inevitably finding the end zone. We should just see the quarterback take a knee right here, winding down the rest of this clock. Second down, 13 yards to go. Ball on the 25-yard line. He takes a knee. And our final score, 28-14, Falcon. Let's get Kirk Herbstreit's final thoughts on this one. Herbie, what do you got for us? Air Force came out here today and played with the heart and intensity that you love to see in a rivalry game. They should be very proud of their victory because wins don't come easy between these two teams. This broadcast to a close. For EA Sports and Kirk Herb Street, I'm Brad Nessler. We'll see you soon for another edition of NCAA Football 14.